Hi, I'm John Shook, and this is the Hacker's Bench. I've been working on my Hackaday Prize entry, and part of it I need a solar-powered power supply for a sensor transmitter module that goes out in front of my house. To simplify that, I went up to Harbor Freight and bought the 60 LED solar security light. Um, it's 30-some dollars, but I, it was on sale, and I had a 20% off any one thing coupon, so... I'm into it for about 20 some bucks, not a bad deal. Um, figured that would be faster and more cost effective than going out and trying to source um, an outdoor solar panel, small one, a battery pack, and whatever else I can pull out of this to use in my project. So let's tear it apart and see what we can get out of it. So inside the box. There's the motion sensor, the light panel, and a box. And there's the solar, solar panel and instructions. Solar panel I'm not going to do much with. Glass front, pretty standard construction. Like I said, one of the things I liked about this is I'm not sure where else you would go to buy a panel like this that's weatherproof, has the mounting bracket on the back. Seems pretty sturdy. Big long cord and a standard barrel plug on it. So that should work out fine for my project. Oh, and it comes with batteries charged. So, let's see what we got. Kind of surprised that the the frame around the LEDs is actually metal and not plastic. Well, and actually the that's a big thick piece of honest to goodness glass, also not plastic. That's kind of surprising. Let's get this. Let's get the mounting bracket off. here. Plastic panel. Big rubber, yeah, rubber gasket. Keep the water out. There's the battery. Nickel metal hydride, 900 milliamp hours at 6 volts. Nice of them to make it plug in. That will definitely end up in the project. In here, a couple more screws. Tiny little circuit board. These two wires apparently go to all the LEDs. Looks like we can detach that. Another little rubber gasket in there. Into the back of there. How do I get this panel off? If I take these all the way out. Alrighty. So I don't see anything left holding. That 
gaskets glued on. That's interesting. I don't see any more screws. Huh. Yeah, I do. There's silver screws on the silver reflector right there. I could have pried hard enough to get it out of there, though. Plastic reflector and a great big board of uh, white LEDs all through hole. Um, I don't want to cut that off just yet. Actually, before I go much further, I got to go find my DMM. Okay, got my trusty Fluke 77 vintage DMM that I still use every day. And Pointing something out to you, when you're tearing stuff apart like this, that's brand new, you have a really good opportunity to find information that would be very difficult otherwise. For example, I may well want to reuse that board full of LEDs in some other project, but I can't know for certain what voltage does that board take. Since I have the whole thing, and I have the batteries, don't want to blind the camera, that gives me an opportunity to actually find that out before I got the thing. And down the road, if I go back to use this LED panel, I'll know exactly 6.32 volts, which is pretty much the output of this battery pack. So we can be confident there's like no regulators or anything going on in there. It's just switching the power directly to the LEDs. Now that we know that, we'll give ourselves a nice long hunk of wires. We don't know what we'll need next time. ourselves a piece of tape put that around there and a sharpie six volts DC it's black and red the printed circuit boards marked for the polarity so that can go in a parts box to be seen another day so back to this so, we've got a toggle switch that's got a little nut on the outside and a rubber boot over it. Oh, kind of interesting. It's, that's really not a bad center off single pole double throw center off toggle switch with a weather <laughs> weatherproof boot. That will definitely get saved. A couple more screws. You know, and I gotta say, for cheap, excuse me, inexpensive Chinese stuff. Where's my camera? I'm kind of impressed with how they label their circuit boards. Battery plus, battery minus, input minus, LED out over on that end, LED positive going on this end. Should make this pretty simple to figure out. What's interesting is I was expecting some kind of charging circuitry to like manage the current going from the solar panel to the uh, battery pack but I mean it's pretty obvious here the the pin in this barrel connector is going to be positive from the panel one trace one lead one diode into the battery pack so it couldn't get much much simpler than that the diode's just there 
so that at night when there's no voltage coming out of the solar panel and the battery packs fully charged it's not pushing current back into the solar panel from the battery pack it would drain the uh, it would drain that in short order now this little motion detector the that's going to probably have to live with this box does that well, it kind of unscrews but with this little pressure connector there I don't know it would be real tricky to mount that to anything else um, same things the uh, motion detector red wire black wire plus and ground yep yeah. and so the blue is the signal coming back from that and it's pretty safe to assume that this motion detector is going to work off six volts as well probably with a pretty wide range the toggle switch just switches the let's see white um, that's the lead to the LEDs with the switch in the center it's disconnected with the switch to one side the battery is applied right to the LEDs so it's a constant on the other position is automatic which takes the blue wire the output of the motion sensor and um, applies that to the LED so the, this motion sensor actually switches the uh, power on and off to the LEDs uh, that's all pretty obvious so we'll just get rid of that off. there's three controls on here sensitivity time and lux I'm not exactly sure what the lux setting does I may actually have to read the instructions to figure that out since we've gone this far we might as well take a peek at uh, what's going on inside this thing but these are pretty standard modules um, God, everybody sells them Adafruit and spark fun self versions of them and they're really pretty cheap anymore oh, I didn't quite expect that there's an honest-to-god relay big power relay in there let's get these wires clear two boards with a little ribbon connector joining them so we have a six volt single pole double throw relay which makes sense because you got it. this thing the LEDs probably draw a fair amount of current when that thing's on um, more than a little transistor switch could do it kind of surprises me that a mechanical relay is cheaper to manufacture than a big uh, power transistor of some sort there's a couple little surface mount transistors on the back which no doubt are driving the coil on this from the detector um, this is pretty standard stuff right in the center is the uh, the infrared detector a zoned detector that works with this white thing which is actually a Fresnel lens that generates a pattern across the front of that sensor and it just detects motion by think of it like one pixel changing more than the pixel next to it and that's what trips it up um, the IC LM324 some basic op amp stuff there's a little bitty photoresistor um, on there probably a thing that says don't turn on the LEDs when it's daylight out and that's probably what the Lux setting is um, that pot right there uh, that probably just lets you determine how dark it has to be before it turns on all the LEDs so this is pretty cool the uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'll save this detector intact. We'll see that in another project down the road. I'll put that all back together. Same with the LEDs. I have no use for them right now, but that's actually kind of cool. So we'll save that. As far as my project goes, it's a switch, a jack, and a diode. <laughs> Um, I'll salvage that toggle switch out of there certainly but don't see much use out of the rest of that so good stuff that will show up here on hackers bench in future projects but for the time being as far as the hackaday prize goes I've got a solar panel and I got a battery pack and I just got to stick a diode in between for a charging system <laughs> if that's what they want to call it um, but not a bad deal good parts. 
I'll talk to you later.